Hi guys, I'm going to the shop to buy some things. I'll be cooking Sunday roast. So come with me as I take you to the shop to do my Sunday roast dinner shopping. In one of our previous videos, we displayed this shoe that Gabriel bought for me. So this is the first time I'm wearing it and I'm going to be wearing it on this shopping for roast dinner. What do you think about the shoe? How does it look? Oh my god, I love it. Look at them, aren't they lovely? Oh, look at those shoes. Today, I'm rocking my nice shoes. I'm rocking my nice shoe that my husband bought for me. I'll be showing you soon. <laughs> Anyways, enough of the shoes. I know you've seen enough of it already, but pardon me, I just can't wait to show you. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I like it when I receive gifts and I like it when I receive thoughtful gifts. The day we went to the gym that if you've not seen that video, just go and watch it. A uh, video of a day of our, in our life. We are at the shop now. We are going into Sainsbury's. Just buying the potatoes. Not a lot, but so. I don't know about you, but I like receiving gifts and i like receiving thoughtful gifts not just gifts i was shocked when i just mentioned that my shoes were a bit tight and i needed to change shoes and i needed some new pair of shoes and gabriel was very thoughtful to get me some new pairs of shoes tell me what you think do you like receiving gifts or not <laughs> i know a lot of people have different love languages me certainly if money was a love language my <laughs> my love language would have been money but the second one is receiving gifts <laughs> oh, so if you want me to fall in love with you just keep sending me gifts <laughs> who knows i might end up falling in love with you because receiving gifts and money are my love languages <laughs> I'm doing a shopping for roast dinner for two. It's very difficult when you're trying to shop for two. That's some um, veg there. Because roast dinner, it's not a lot of food, but it's a little bit of a lot of different foods and you end up having more than you bargained for. But that is it for roast dinner. For this roast dinner, we are not going to add Yorkshire or stuffings or nothing like that. Because the more you have, it might become excess for just two of us. That's the carrot there. And I'll end up not using all the veg. It's difficult when you try to shop for just two people. Especially when you're cooking a traditional meal that is supposed to be a lot. And you're aiming to feed just two people it is difficult but it is what it is let's buy some parsley there wasn't any shopping basket when I got into Sainsbury's since there are a lot of people in the shop shopping with a smaller shopping basket or they've not gone to restock it you know when people finish shopping they take it to the till they've not restored the staff hasn't returned the bag so they're wearing any shopping basket so i'm just using my shopping bags let's get some lamb in today's roast dinner we are going to be cooking with lamb the reason is these lambs are on offer lamb joints and boneless ones they are all on offer with the nectar card for half the price so you will see a big lamb joints that was meant to be like 16 pounds you see it's only for eight pounds coming here makes me remember <laughs> it makes me remember the day i came here to pick up my iphone <laughs> my scam iphone from ebay i'm here i want to do some shopping oh i didn't get a basket let's go and get basket guys get basket 
and come back. All these lambs, all these lambs are half prices. So you see this one was supposed to be 16 pound, it's 8 pound. I usually don't do this but I want to make roast. This was supposed to be 17 pound and this is like a joint and it's only 8 pound. So it's meant to be 14 pound, it's only 7 pound. So I'm going to buy like two and I'll be using it to make this delicious roast. Let's have a look. So it's meant to be 15. Oh, let's get this big lamp. Eight pounds, so we'll take two. No basket, does that mean there are, are a lot of people in the shop shopping? And I'll be showing you what I'm buying. Sometimes the till is always very busy. The crowd, the till is where you're supported by an attendant. So I usually just go to the self checkout till. Since the self checkout till was made in this sense, breeze, anytime I shop for personal items, there is not a lot. I just use the self checkout till because it saves you time. Once you, your an average wait time will only be about one to two minutes and you seal a free self checkout till that you can just hop into and use and the good thing about using this self checkout thing is you can have a lot of pennies like one penny two penny all those annoying lots of pennies if you use the checkout self checkout till you can always just pop all your loose pennies in and before you use your card or your cash to pay the other balance now i want to use this still but it seems it's not working so i would be using the next till i didn't buy a lot i only bought some potatoes broccoli that was the carrot there and not a lot at all just a few bits and one of the things i like about roast is you have a mixture of different veg roast is one of the most healthiest meal that you can have as a big meal but still be healthy because you only have your meat and by the way i bought two lamb joints but i'm not cooking them all i'll only cook one because it's just me and gabriel eating the dinner and i will keep the rest to cook another day the good thing i like about roast is you have several mixed veg that you can have in one meal and you have the broccoli you can also have some cabbage you can have carrots you can have parsnips you can have oh because i use nectar card to buy the lamb so it's my not i saved 13 pounds so it's only 15 pounds i brought my bag so i am not going to pay for bag and that's it let's go that's my small shopping for 15 pounds it's because of the the lamb joint that is making it high because the lamb joints i got it six pound and seven pound that was already 12 pound and the other three pound was for the potatoes the carrots the broccoli and the cabbage so it's still all right because the meat the two i bought made it higher and let's put the shopping in the bag and let's go we are at home now and i'm going to take you on how i'm cooking the roast dinner that's the potatoes and the parsnips all peeled up and that is our lamb joints we are cooking just this one today that's our broccoli our cabbage and our carrots i've chopped all of them up is in that pot 
and <laughs> that's our potatoes oh my god i like the way the broccoli is just like an umbrella and i'm washing my potatoes i don't know why i like washing my veg in a basket like you're pouring the water from the tap and the water is just going i like it that way because it minimizes me having to change the water so i can just wash in running water rather than in just one water that's the cabbage and the broccoli all chopped up i'm adding water for it to boil and that is my parsnip and carrot all chopped up because i don't have a lot of small pots i like just cooking the green veg together and the other type of veggies together i have added in this plate some seasoning cubes some curry cayenne pepper and thyme with a bit of salt and i'm going to use it to marinate the lamb yes i'm using going to use it to marinate the lamb i like when i mar marinate my meat that i have a mixture of seasoning and when you marinate your meat with a mixture of seasoning and you add a little bit of oil to it and then you use it to rub on the body of the meat but before you do that you're going to use knife to cut and leave some like to cut and leave some marks on the meat so your seasoning can penetrate into it on these potatoes i'm going to use that seasoning for potatoes i'm just going to season it is a mixture of ginger garlic and onion just to add some herbs to my potatoes and my parsnips so this potato and parsnip i've cooked it first and that is our lamb joint that we've roasted and it is ready it looks yummy that's our potatoes and parsnips is golden brown and it's ready to serve that's our meats our roast yam now let's make some gravy i'm going to use some chicken and some beef gravy i also added a bit of seasoning cube and also some cayenne pepper to give it that taste that's our dinner served and i'm going to just add some gravy to it look at that looking yummy also i made someone's hair after cooking and that is the hair rich how the hair looks oh my god i hope the owner of the hair likes it yes she loved it and this hair didn't even take us up to three hours it was very fast and it was quick thanks for watching